Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever you are, wherever you are. Thanks for joining me today. Now, it is uh, Thursday, July the 6th, and if you have not heard yet, you will soon see in the news that some former U.S. officials had met back in April, and maybe at some other times, with some Russian officials, particularly Sergei Lavrov, or as I like to call him, Lavrov, because he's a joke. Um, and there were discussions about what we could do to get the Ukrainians to the peace table. Now, look, these kind of back channel conversations go on. I understand that. I understand Biden wants to stay in office. Biden would like the war over before uh, the election next year. Fine. Then send ATACMs, send Patriots, send F-16s, get the pilots trained, and let's end this thing. That's the way to do it. We live with this illusion that this lie that we've told ourselves in the West, that at one time there was war in Europe and that was bad, and then there was peace, and that was good. This is nonsense. There was an aggressive power that believed it could wage war on the world to distract its own people from the problems at home while the people at the top stole everything for themselves and they didn't get over it until they were defeated. And we're in the same boat today. You know, at the beginning of World War II, the Japanese thought that their emperor was a god, a literal god. They needed to be disabused of this lie. Right now, the Russians believe that they are the greatest power on earth, that their emperor, their czar, their czar of all Russia is uh, infallible. Infallible. If he were infallible, he wouldn't have sacrificed a quarter million Russians on the boulder of Bakhmut. Give me a break. Listen, America, we made a promise to these people back in 1994 when they gave up their nuclear arsenal. This is an emergent democracy. Is it perfect? No. Are we perfect? No. Are they trying? Yes, they are. Are we trying? I hope to God we are, because we could certainly be doing a better job of it. This is an existential fight, not just for the life of a culture and a people and a, a nation here in Ukraine. It's an existential fight between autocracy and democracy and the future of the 21st century. Those things should matter to us as Americans. There has not been a war with this kind of moral clarity since 1939, right? And America, the war was in progress in 39. We didn't show up till late and we're doing it again. We're making the same mistake. Come on, guys. Let's show up and let's remember, nobody can set the terms for Russian surrender but the Ukrainians. None of this peace talk nonsense. Not while there are Russian troops in this country doing what they're doing. Committing the evil against the, uh, the people in the occupied territories that they commit every day. Just the day the body of a 12-year-old girl was found. That could be your little girl. And you can't even think about what the Russians did to her before they murdered her. We can stop this. We don't have to do much. We don't have to do much. Take five minutes. Send an email to your representatives. Ask them to please forward what is needed so that these people can conduct the fight they need to fight and defeat the enemy that needs to be defeated for all our sakes. Thank you, my friends.